Hi, and today very excited we have Neil Patel and Aaron Ages with us. Um, I'm absolutely floored when I look at what you've both done and what you're doing here at the moment in the sense of bringing so much empowerment to people in the digital world. So um, if you wouldn't mind just telling me a little bit about the business. I know you can do it in a snapshot better than I can. Sure. Uh, so Aaron and I work on a consulting firm here in Australia called Louder Online. And we just help companies, small, medium, large businesses get more traffic and sales from their website. Awesome. Very interesting. Uh, and tell me, what do you love about the business that you're doing at the moment? Um, I love helping people. We make a big difference in people's lives in terms of actually driving business to their website. And so it's great to think we can have a positive impact on people. We love um, that. And you know, from a personal perspective, it's great that we can um, you know, work online so we can travel, we can uh, work from anywhere, and it's, it's a great lifestyle. So there are two parts that I just want to talk about a little bit about, firstly, from the personal level and doing what you're doing, because our site is about for women over 40. So we're always interested in stories about success and how that comes together. What's been the biggest learning for you both in this journey? For me, it's been execution is really important. Um, my parents, my mom and dad, my mom more so was an entrepreneur. Mm. She tried to, the one thing I learned from her is you don't have to do something perfect, just get it out there learn from it and adapt and just move as quick as possible. Oh, I so love that. <laughs> because so many people go, it's like, you haven't got it right, but it's, it's a process and I think it's evolving all the time, yeah? yeah? Awesome, and what about you? Uh, for me, it's systems and people. Yeah. Um, having, systemizing things for us, the minute that we could get to systemizing any recurring thing that we had to do, any recurring task, was when things started really working for us. Um, having the right people though, mm. you can't operate those systems without the right people. and. We've gone through days where we've just had nightmares with the, the staff that we've had um, on our team and you know, unfortunately you make mistakes and you learn from those mistakes and get the right people on board. It is, it's, um, I've just sort of taught myself on about the fact how important failure is because it's how we learn and, and yep. grow. Yeah. One of the things that's been fascinating for me recently is I've been uh, watching a lot about what's happening in the world as far as you know, institutions have been from the top down now it's very much from the bottom up where there's platforms that are being created by the community and softwares and things that are happening and, and accountability is being done by the community is that do you feel that is that impacting what you're doing in the online world yeah with us you know we're using these softwares like the Facebooks of the world the HubSpots of the world which allow us to communicate with customers get new customers interact with them and work from bottom up right yeah and it's worked out quite well over the years. And so for our um, viewers who are watching and they're all entrepreneurs and they're young moms and they're old moms and they're wanting to find out what things do they need to know because sometimes when you're over 40, over 50, over 60, you feel so behind in the technical side. What is something or a tip that they need to know to think of? Yeah, what happens as far as we see is that so many people try a ton of different things all at once to, to drive business to themselves, uh, to their business, as opposed to just focusing on one channel of, of traffic or one channel of marketing and really nailing that before moving on to others. Uh, so choose something, know that people are successful at it, learn from them, get it right before trying to spread into other marketing channels. So you're talking about perhaps focusing just on Facebook or focusing on one social yeah. channel? Yeah. SEO or content oh, marketing okay, or um, you know, AdWords, some paid marketing. Whatever you choose, get it right before trying to do all of them at the same time. So the big question I know everyone says is which one do you choose? You know, <laughs> It's different for every business. Yeah. Um, you, know, you, you need to check your market, your level of competition online and see what's actually going to work well for you and uh, you know, speak to people who know, <laughs> come and talk to us. Because is that what you do when you go into a business and you actually have to assess what the problem is That's and then correct. how it is? I mean, what? Yep. We, we run through a process called growth mapping yeah. where we're analysing their current state of their website, level of competition, content, marketing channels, a whole range of things and we map out exactly where they are and what they need to do to be successful moving forward. Because that's what I'm just trying to think if, if I'm an entrepreneur and I'm going, okay, because I know a lot of them go, I don't know where to, you know, where to go because I do personal branding so I have sessions with people about how to take their business to that next level and it's such an, a thing, I mean I'm very organic about it and intuitive, I think there's a part. But is there a formula where you go, I believe you should focus on this or? 
Absolutely. And, you know, we, we do a lot of personal branding as well for, for mm. people, but on an ongoing basis. So making sure they've got the right image there, there that exists online, um, online reputation management, yes, um, ensuring true. that you're protecting your brand and, and mm. really growing that online. So, yeah, we have, we have there's formulas for us behind all of what we do. It's very scientific. Oh, really? Could you just <laughs> give me one? <laughs> Tell me, what's your favourite formula that you use or thing that you think is great? Yeah, sure. So one thing that we do is uh, something that's simple is, if you're trying to leverage Facebook, we look to see what your competition's doing, what's working for them. We map out what stories hit, what doesn't, the timing. We're using all the data points to figure out what you can end up replicating that ends up that should work well for you. Awesome. Now, what is the thing that uh, fall off both of you is, is keeps you kind of on track uh, mentally and emotionally in your life? You know, what's your personal mastery? For me, it's just I love what I'm doing, so I really just stay on track because I'm passionate about it. Yeah, look, I, I've got two main things. One of them being very similar. I, I finally found something that I loved doing in online marketing, and because of that, I'm forever interested in doing it and learning more and being better. Uh, but the other thing is I've got a, a young family, and, and they drive me to be successful in, in every way I can. So it's so interesting, I go, okay, so what is the thing that has been successful for you? Why ha has it worked for you? What, what is the thing that you went into perhaps the first business and you were able to make a difference? Obviously, when I look through what you've been doing, what is it, what's unique about you? I'm a really quick executor. Oh, okay, okay. Business isn't unique, it's more so executing, learning from mistakes, going forward and continually adapting. Okay, so it's your ability to see the path that they should be doing really quickly. So people go, wow, okay, I can see the difference immediately. Yeah, yeah so process what Aaron mentioned, right? Okay, right, okay. And do you have any advice for over 40s, you know, in that sense? What is it? I mean, you obviously have older friends and family. You know, what do you tell them <laughs> as advice? The, the advice is, as I said before, don't get distracted by, you know, gurus telling you you can do SEO or content or paid marketing or social or whatever is the next best thing. Mm. All of it works. So choose one, speak to someone, get some advice, know what you should focus on, the one thing, and get that right. I love that because a lot of the time we go, oh, that's not going to work, but then it's really about choosing that line and believing in it yep. and then just going for it through failure yes. <laughs> continual regular continual. failure yeah. oh, no, I love that okay awesome well thank you thank Probably you to meet your boat we'll see you on the shore somewhere else thanks for thanks having so. us thanks.